Hello class! Today we will talk about local government taxes. This material that we are using comes from the National Tax Research Center. Yes, there is a research center for taxation. Anyway, your local government units derive their revenues from local and external sources. Local sources will include your annual real property tax, annual business taxes, uh, fees, charges, receipts from operations, and sale of assets. External sources would include your ERA, of which some government units are dependent upon, and then shares from special laws, grants, and borrowings. So we begin with real property taxes which is composed of your basic real property tax and special levies. So your real property tax is based upon value of the real property. And real properties here compose of your lands, buildings, and other improve no, other improvements and machineries. So they are imposed by your provinces, cities, municipalities at the following rates. So provinces not to exceed 1% of the assessed value. Cities, municipalities not to exceed 2%. Note that there is a limit. So your local government units will adjust your assessed values accordingly to improve their tax collection so rpt being based on assessed value then your re local government units has to uh, regularly review the market values of these real properties as assessment levels would be a percentage of those market levels that they determine also important is the actual use of your properties so this allows gov local governments to classify your properties into residential agricultural commercial note that your property becomes expensive when it is being used for commercial or is classified as being used for commercial purposes. So there you have your buildings and other structures as well as machineries. My experience here was that we once questioned the uh, tax basis for air conditioners uh, of my client who were in the uh, assessed values or market values were maintained at the uh, purchase price for years for years and years so we had to go up at city hall and question why depreciation was not being imposed to reduce the level of tax base once we questioned we were allowed to deduct depreciation but had we not questioned the same, the tax base would have still been the cost of per the purchase price of the air conditioning units, despite be them be those un of those units being depreciated over time. Now, special classes include uh, cultural, scientific, hospital local water districts, GOCCs, engage in the supply of water, as well as transmission of electric power. Who are exempted to pay RPT? That would be your properties owned by your government and its political subdivisions, charitable institutions, churches, parsonages, convents, etc. So, say for example, you have 
UP in Miagao, which is occupying a very large space in the municipality of Miagao. Out of that space, your local government uh, basically forfeited collecting real property taxes in exchange for the promise of, well, a more business and employment for the local community. So there can be studies on the uh, economic impact of a of the presence of the government and its political subdivisions in a certain municipality. Because in effect, your local government cannot collect real property taxes from these entities. Also exempt are machineries and equipment that are actually directly and exclusively used for local water districts. Uh, all properties owned by duly registered cooperatives. And then, of course, property machineries that are used for pollution control and environment protection. Okay. Except as provided for in the local government code, any exception previously granted were withdrawn. Now, aside from your basic tax, you have your special levies, which would be your special education fund, which is 1% of the assessed value of the real property, the proceeds of which will support public education. Now, if you purchase land, you're supposed to make that land productive. So if you fail to do so, idle land tax can be charged against you at the rate of 5% according to this coverage. Exemption, unless by act of God, civil disturbance, natural calamities, and the like that prevents you from improving and utilizing your land. Special levies would include the uh, projects to benefit um, public, the general public, which is not to exceed 60% of the actual cost of those projects and improvements, including the cost of acquiring the land. Okay, other impositions on real property tax would be your socialized housing tax, and then whenever you transfer ownership of real property. So this happens when you purchase or you inherit or you are a donee of real property, uh, you have to pay, aside from paying the corresponding capital gains tax, uh, and then uh, estate tax, donor's tax, for the transfer of these real properties with the national government, you have to pay also the corresponding transfer tax at your local government. Now, sale, transfer, another disposition of real property pursuant to the comprehensive agrarian reform law shall be exempt from tax. How is your real property tax collected? They accrue on the first day of January. But then, of course, you can pay uh, a month before the corresponding year and you get discounts if you pay early 
they can be paid without interest in four equal installments. But why would you go four times in your city or municipal halls when you can just go there at one time to pay your real property tax? If there is a transfer of real property, you have to pay your transfer tax within 60 days. Otherwise, surcharges, penalties, interest can be imposed upon you. Next, you have your local government, your other local taxes, which are imposed by your provincial, municipal, city, and barangay. So for provincial taxes, you just familiarize yourselves with what these are. So printing, publication, franchise, sand, gravel, and car resources. So these are your extractive industries. And your local government has to, should they approve, they get to tax the extraction of these natural resources. Professional tax, which is at 300 pesos a year per profession. Amusement tax for cinemas, concert halls. Okay. Municipal taxes. So they get to charge business taxes. Which uh, can be a combination of graduated, fixed, and percentage tax. Percentage tax and, and what? Tax. So you have your limits for these taxes. So that's why for business taxes, there is this uh, practice wherein your local government units would require you to report 20% more or 25% more of what you have reported against what you have reported the year before. On the theory that you wouldn't continue your business if you are not earning income from it. So my issue there would be that uh, imposition of a of requiring 20% increase in declared gross receipts as the tax base for business tax uh, preys upon uh, MSMEs, your micro, small, and medium enterprises. Because your large businesses submit audited financial statements, which reflects more or less their actual operations, which could mean that it can be lower for the following year because of business. Uh, business the flow of business the flow of businesses business environment for the year before but for msmes they are basically not really forced but uh, strongly encouraged and could be um, quite expensive on their part if they had a bad year the year before and then city taxes, which should not be more than 50% of those charged by your provincial and city, provincial or municipalities. Then you have your barangay taxes. Okay, you can impose upon retailers and stores. Not to exceed 1% of the gross sales or receipts. Community tax. Remember your cedula. So for individuals, that is 5 pesos plus 1 peso per 1,000 of income. Not to exceed 5,000 pesos. As for corporations, basic tax is 500 Plus 2 pesos for every 5,000 worth, not to exceed 10,000 pesos. 
So can you imagine Robinson's SM paying only 10,000 pesos community tax? Exemptions from community tax would be your diplomatic and consular representatives, as well as transient visitors who do not stay more than three months. Next, you have your other revenues. This would be your common charges, common to your provincial city municipality. These are your service fees and charges which are expected to be reasonable, public utility charges for utilities owned and maintained by your local government, toll fees and charges for public roads, pier, wharves, bridges, ferries. Now, for your municipalities, rental fees or charges, for the use of municipal waters, cities, fees and charges imposed by province and municipality. Your barangay can also collect fees for certifications, uh, barangay clearance, which um, can be quite expensive for some highly urbanized uh, barangays. So there are barangays, like for example, your barangays that house your big malls. They have big income, but a few constituents because their areas have become commercial. Okay. How does your government collect these taxes? They collect this. From the first day of January to January 20. But of course, payments can be made in quarterly installments. Next, we have here a presentation by the Bureau of Local Government Finance on LGU taxation and revenue practices just to give you a view on how things are going in terms of local taxes. So basically, we are practicing fiscal decentralization. Up until your local government code, we have now more or less a stronger, I'm not sure if we can say better, uh, fiscal decentralization and recognition of the uh, role or the very important role of your local governments in providing um, basic public services directly to their constituents. So again, you have your local government structure from your barangays to your cities and municipalities and provinces. So your revenue generation for LGUs are fixed. As earlier stated, there are maximum rates provided. And uh, these tax rates can be adjusted up to 10% once every five years. Your market values, which is the basis for your assessed values, are subject to revaluation once every three years. So if you have a an aggressive, progressive LGU, then expect this to be done every three years and tax rates being done, reviewed every five years. Now there are LGUs who are not quite active in doing this and that reflects their poor performance in terms of collection and the same performance extending to their uh, services, level of services. Again, you have here a very good uh, tabular presentation of 
what taxes each of your LGU can impose as well as share. Now, fees and charges, we have a lot. You have your bicycle permits, market charges, traffic violations, uh, fishing permits, sanitary permits, building permits, and the like. So, in terms of uh, performance or support to the overall fiscal health of the government, your LGU is contribu contributed 51 billion last 2014. Next. As to their income from internal and or from local and external sources, you have the following distribution. Now, intergovernmental transfers or your era is being shared from national government to your local government according to this uh, sharing scheme so it is quite important for your local government to be conscious of how they are classified as they would have a better share if they are classified accordingly. And then your local governments get a share from, aside from the national wealth, they get a share from tobacco excise taxes, from government corporations, from economic zones, as well as from collections from VAT. In exchange for all of those local and external sources, your local government has to take care of health and social services, agriculture, environmental protection and management, infrastructure, tourism, and other regulatory functions. So, should the um, local and external sources be not enough, your local government can go into debt. They can avail of credit facilities to finance their local infrastructures and other development projects. They can be in the form of a loan, bonds, you have local governments issuing bonds. And then interlocal loans, grants, and subsidies. Loans from foreign sources. Build, operate, transfer, joint venture activities, and the like. But of course, these borrowings have limitations. Not to exceed 20% of the regular income of your local government and they are monitored by your department of finance and your blgf that's it for your local government taxes